Now, before I do my commentary of the night, I want to bring on a guy that I, I have, have heard on television, and, and he's touring all over the country, and he's a good rapper. He, he's, he's really, uh, yeah, he really is. And I, I want to give him a, a big hand. Hey, let's bring out Casanova Ace. Come on, let's hear it. Casanova. Hey, Casanova. Hey, okay. Casanova. How you doing, pal? All right. Okay, hold on, guys. Okay. Before I get started, hold on, guys. Before, before we get started, can I say something real quick? Real quick? Yeah. Okay, Kaza. Um, I want to respond to something that I heard when I was out there. I'm coming on strong just like a beast thing. I am a good rapper. Don't say there is a such thing. There is a such thing. Yes, I am positive and a very good rapper because that's how I'm living. I don't do the negative. I do the positive. That is the way that I live. So I'm coming on strong just like a beast thing. Responding to the one who said there ain't a such thing. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Hey, hey guys, hold it down. Now, Casanova, as you know, you were out in the wings there. You, you know John Wright. You've been talking to him in the green room. Yeah. He's coming out to argue with me, and, and we did this last week. And I, I want to get your opinion because you're, you're a good rapper. Tell me what you think about this whole, this whole controversy on Ice T. I have made the statement that I think this guy made a bad mistake in making. A record heard by millions of kids. Right. Cop killer. Uh, die pigs die. I'm gonna dust some cops off. As a rapper yourself, do you think this was irresponsible? Well, I'm not gonna. The first thing I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna go. I see was wrong, man. I'm yep. not gonna do that. Yeah. What I am gonna say is something that I have told kids all over the country, and I have and I have a stand on this. As a rapper myself. Rappers, whether they want to be or don't want to be, are role models. That's right. They're role models. I mean... Everybody in the inter entertainment field is a role model. a role model. model. If you're a basketball player, you're a role model. That's right. I mean, if you're, if you're seen on television, if you're, you're a role on the radio, you're a role model. I am a great role model. Yeah. <laughs> now, what, so, so go ahead. Before I became... Before I became a rap artist, I'm going to make this short. Yeah. I can remember my favorite comic book hero. His name was Spider-Man. Spider-Man, sure. Spider-Man said when he became Spider-Man from Peter Parker, a quote that I'll live with all of my life because it's, it's, it's me. With great power becomes great responsibility. And to be a rapper, to be a role model, admired by so many kids, yep. that's something you have to live with, and you have to inflect that in everything you do. Absolutely right. So, ever since rap's inception, almost 16, 17 years ago, the demographics have always been from toddlers to, to high school kids right. who are impressionable. He's very impressionable. Okay, now, I'm not saying Ice was wrong. Ice probably well, I'm had... I'm saying Ice was wrong, no, wasn't he? Okay. okay. He probably, he probably had Ice. the right Bad kind of judgment. idea Bad judgment. when he was making a record. But for a four-year-old to run around going cop killer, cop killer, die pig, die. That's wrong. You know, that's about that, no. That's I, absolutely I, I, I right. Yeah, okay. All right. All right, now, Casanova, one of the reasons I brought you out here is I understand that, that you have put together a little Wally rap. Yeah. And, hey, hey, hey guys, hey, hey you want to hear the Wally rap? Yeah! Okay. Here is Casanova Ace. First time on television, not only, hey, Casanova, you're not only going to be seen around the country, you're seen all around the world. Yeah, I better make it good. Okay, huh? so, so here's Casanova Ace with the Wally rap. Go get him. Go get him. Take it. Good golly, good golly, good golly, Miss Molly. I'm on the hot seat with my main man, Wally. G to E, O, R, G to the E. My name is Casanova, I'm the A, C, E. You do a like that, the run can't be beat. I'm down with Wally George and I'm on the hot seat. Yeah! guy. Hey, this guy is a great role model. How about a big cheer for Casanova A? <laughs> stay there, Casanova. Stay there for... Okay. Everybody hold up. Quiet, please. Everybody uh, cool down.
in the audience and, and everybody across the country could, because now it is time for me to do my commentary of the night. Okay? Pay attention, please. I cannot believe that the Los Angeles School Board proclaimed this month as Gay and Lesbian Pride Month in our Los Angeles schools. <laughs> Hundreds of, of parents, clergymen, and children, students themselves, have been protesting at the school board headquarters, and I say, I don't blame them. <laughs> now this, this gay, hold it. Now this gay and, and lesbian pride month was pushed on the school board by openly gay school board member Jeff Horton. Now, I agree with the parents who are protesting. This is wrong. Do we need to have all of our kids in our schools practicing Gay Pride Month? And if that, if that isn't bad enough, the board, hold it, guys. If that isn't bad enough, the school board here in Los Angeles may also approve the teaching of gay and lesbianism in the classroom. Do we want to teach homosexuality in our school? You put oh, this. You okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Hold it. Now you. Now you. You couple this. You. You couple this with the passing out of condoms to the kids in our schools, and you can see that we are veering way off course. As one parent stated, "Why are they in the school board fixated not on education but on sexual behavior?" What's next? Bedroom 101? <laughs> now, you know, we don't have... Oh, hold it. Quiet in the audience. I got to clear the... Hey, hey. Hold, I told you guys we got to hold it down. The, when I say hold it down the audience, we got to hold it down. That, I mean it now. Now, we don't have a, have a heterosexual pride month in our school, so why in the world should we have a gay and lesbian Pride Month? If we have it here, it could spread nationwide, and I say it is ludicrous. I'll be right back.